Okay. What's your favourite piece of music from a game? That's easy. Go on then. That's the uh, the music from Knuckle Busters on the Commodore 64. I have a thing about Commodore 64 music wow. and the SID chip, so previously it was mental going down the street in my Nissan Micra with, with Zoids blasting out or Monty on the run. I, I would say, because I've heard it the most, um, it's got to be Outrun. Uh, Which well, one? I don't know. I, I don't know that I can remember the title. Magical but Sound Shower. That's the one. Oh, God, no, do, 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 um, do, 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 You're not doing it justice, I think that's Magical Sound Show. You're not That's the one that was in my head. I was humming along in my head. i humming it. He's singing it. Okay. Right. Next question. Next one. Oh, not many left. A new era for Sumo. What's next? Wow. I don't think it's a new era, just continuing to, well, we to grow. We we'll won't be more. talking about it and we won't have the question if we weren't doing this. Because I think that, <laughs> and I think that says a lot because there isn't a new era. We just keep doing what we've always done, which is running a good business, making video games. There's no secret to that, is there really? We've been through so many different forms of ownership, ultimately, within Every year's been a new era, almost. <laughs> so, the, it, although we're now owned by Tencent, it's, it doesn't change who Sumo are or what Sumo does. It just means that we've got a different owner. But that's no different to when we had a different owner in 2007, different owner in 2014, different owner in 2016. There is no new era as such. It's no, just I, carry on doing what well, you've, we've you've always just done. just listed a bunch of new eras there. Yeah. The same questions yeah. come up every yeah. time. Yeah. And, and I think we've proved that, that we just keep carrying on yeah. and we, we do what we've always done. Yeah. And again, just, just run a good business, yeah. which is, is yeah. what we've, we've always done. Exactly. Absolutely. Should we grab another question? Whoa. My turn. Definitely. All right, once again, without my reading glasses <laughs> in the six point font. Um, <laughs> our first developer conference as an SDC? The developer conference has really started at Gremlin. And w because we were a really large developer stroke publisher, we'd run our own conferences. But it was only a couple of years ago when Gary Dunn started talking about doing something now we were larger as Sumo, um, that it kind of made sense. Bear in mind, we've got 18 studios across five countries. The challenge is how do you get everybody to share learnings and, and see what each other's doing and give them exposure because it does help to invigorate other studios when you see what someone else is doing or you see someone else has already solved the challenge that you're probably looking at right now. So SDC is a brilliant opportunity for people to come together and to learn from each other. I, I think it was the first opportunity as well to really see the scale of Sumo. We never had everybody together and as a company I think we've done some amazing stuff over the last 20 years but, but for me that is is probably the, the thing that is the best thing we've ever done. The, the whole thing felt like it, it had been something that had been running for years, not something that was our first attempt. And it, it was fantastic. Maybe we should go into conferences next. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Next question. Go on, oh, last one. I think this is one for you, Carl. Um, <laughs> special relationship. So special relationships, we, we obviously have always had a charity relationship with with various partners but over the last few years with special effect has been a big part of of sumo's journey in terms of providing support and then more recently solving kids cancer it's not about just giving some money to a charity they're absolutely the last thing other than british racing greats this year what other events charity events are you looking forward to are you taking part in any we we always take part in um couple of golf tournaments, there's Games A Golf and there's Special Effect Golf, which they're running for the second time this year. There's always the five aside. This year, they're stepping that up with a 24 hour non-stop yeah, football marathon. marathon, which I'm glad I'm not part of. I don't <laughs> think I could do 25 minutes and not let alone 24 there's hours. Twin but, Town Challenge as um, well. Yeah, we, we've always taken part in Twin Town Challenge whenever we can. And that is a a great segue into the British Racing Greats because the British Racing Greats was an idea that, that I had with, uh, as out one night with Nick from Special Effect. So we were just talking about what could we do that's big, fairly spectacular, but perhaps a little bit more static than, than a trip to another country. 
and so we kind of came up with this this idea of of a of a big track day you know getting everybody in the industry together that's a bit of a petrol head and everybody that 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 we've pitched it to has has jumped on board straight away and the other thing that i think we love supporting as well and our teams get involved in supporting is uh, special effects one button game jam i mean accessibility is a huge thing for games as you were saying giving yeah. access to people and, and impacting people's lives is huge especially people who have less opportunity to, to get out and about or to do other things and you know, supporting the exactly. one button game jam and bringing, yeah, bringing some games together that mm -hmm. give people the opportunity to play a game that wouldn't necessarily be yeah. able to pick up a controller I think is just it's a great thing to support. Yeah, absolutely.